my own guitar. I think I'd like to hear um, more of my voice in this guitar. That should be okay now. Okay. This will Sleep. be Take one. Beautiful people. chamber in me or something. Just... Yeah, the reason is we're recording you in echo chamber because we can't do it afterwards. Well, can you put less? I feel I'm reverberating all over the place. You'll sound different with the track anyway. Yeah, okay. Here comes the track. Good. Beautiful people You live in the same world I do, but somehow I never noticed you before today. I'm ashamed to say, beautiful people, we share the same back door, and it isn't right. We never met before. me I would run and take all of your hands and I'll gather everyone together for a day and when we are gathered out their bottoms out that say beautiful people never have to be alone cause they'll always be some young singer and composer from New York. Like a whole new generation of American girl singers, her songs are intensely personal about her hopes, her fears, her career, her friends. She has been in England to compose music for a film. I think if I ever lost being vulnerable, I might as well not have been on the stage. Every performer that I like to see is very vulnerable. That's my favorite quality, to see in a performer that they're just open, you know. Not open to be hurt, but just open, open to the good and the bad, you know. Hello. 
Tony? Oh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> this is what it is. This is, this is the round, not the, not the second round house, the um, apartheid concert, oh, the good. first one. It says, um, this is what you are, it says. <laughs> it says, uh, Melanie doesn't just offer her songs but herself, for her songs are her, her thoughts, observations, her hopes, her fears. There is none of the coyness of a Julie Phoenix or the sweetness of a Joan Byers. It's the gutsy, hard feel of a Janis Joplin mixed with the bittersweet of an Edith Piaf. How's that? Mm, that's silly, isn't it? <laughs> That's you. You're here for about four or five weeks, aren't you? Yeah. No, well, um, two... She's leaving the 12th to do the Earl of Guthrie concert. Oh, 12th of August? Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll tell you, if it's possible, if you could take a, a couple of days off from the filming, if there's any gaps in the right. filming, how would you like to go back to Holland to do a free concert and a television special? Roll, all rolled into one for good money. It but wouldn't, it wouldn't be it? for nothing. For which? For Lex. Oh, I love him. Yes, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's really great, yeah. Is that OK? Yeah, great. Do you know who else is going to be in the concert? Oh, you. Oh, just me? Oh. That's enough. <laughs> what about myself? <laughs> I'm thinking what I'm doing. Thinking what i done. About my mother, who never thought I'd come quite this far from nowhere to hear myself be sung, but I still haven't forgotten I used to do it just for fun when all the ones around.
you're beginning to lose control of your own life. Yeah, well, I've lost, I've lost control of that already. Um, not forever. I know it just has to be for a while, maybe a, a year or so. <laughs> what know. kind of things? Um, when and how. When I do something. When I wake up. When I go to sleep. Um, it's different than when you're going to school and you know you have to get up because that's something that everybody does, but all of a sudden it's something that not everybody does. I'm back in town. You don't look so happy because I'm back in town. One night I had a rehearsal with a group and uh, there was Melanie sitting and Joyce, you know, the secretary told me, here's Melanie. And uh, I took her in the room <laughs> I shut the lights off. <laughs> I shut the lights off. <laughs> and I heard Melanie sing. And I really, really flipped out. I never, ever before felt as important as I did when, when he did that. He, he first um, just listened to the first song and he didn't say anything. And I, I wondered what, what his reaction was, you know, and then. I'll oh, sing another one, you know. And he went into the corner and he crouched down and was listening. Come on, stop. You know, he was going through this whole routine. I couldn't believe it. So I was so excited about it. come together, the words and the music. It won't be first the music or first the words. The best songs that I wrote were ones that what, the both things came together and just happened immediately. That's what, what do you feel when you do that? I feel fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's like, I, oh, this must have been said, it, but it's like giving birth because, but it happens so fast, you know, it's, you get an idea and and just start strumming and all of a sudden the whole thing will come down just at one time, you know, not saying, well, what, what would be nice to follow that line and what would be, what would be good to hear after that and what would sound nice with that. Can, can, can you remember writing a song with it felt like? Yeah, well, that song? is the one close to it all that I love right. best. You want me to sing yeah, it? Yeah. Okay.
that I want to say. Everyone's got their own special way that keeps them from getting too close to the day. Accept and be part of it all and all and everyone. Tear down your own little wall that keeps you from being a part of it all. Cause you gotta be one with the one and all and everyone. Tear down your own little wall that keeps you from being a part of I don't feel any easier about going on a stage. I don't feel, well, now that I've done it this many times, I can do it again much easier. It doesn't feel that way at all. It's just as hard and just, I get just as nervous. Is there anything you do about your nervousness before you go on stage? <laughs> no, it does it for me. <laughs> it, I, I get very sick. Sometimes I get very sick. Um, How but there's nothing I can do, really, so I, until I get out there and let's take a deep breath and start to sing. Maybe or a movie or some best-selling book. I know your mirrored mornings in rehearsal of your look. Your cause is all so beautiful. Your So I have to wait, really, to finish the music. When darkness hovers and city lights take over, I am blinded to the words. I am alone. You know, the, yeah. you're saying that too. Yeah. It's really, Absolutely. that's why I like to, I think at this point, I'm getting more by just talking mm. to you about 
what you were thinking when you were writing the story. It really is more of a dilemma than a love affair, you know. It, yeah. it, it's, it's being caught in the middle of something mm -hmm. and trying to justify it. He can't justify it. If he, if he talked to her for 24 hours, he couldn't really justify what he's doing. Mm. But then one can't justify many things in life. If you were free, I would want you to marry me. I think it would be nice if we just went about, perhaps not even living together. Then I think you'd come back to me. Go off on your own, please come back. Why didn't I meet you before? Because <laughs> that was a new job. Yeah, you probably did. I wish I could have met you later. That'll uh, not. That'll still be. They're walking away from the park, right? 